I checked for the spot on where I was swimming and like it was like actually pretty deep like like good enough to take a dive so uh, I start diving there and then all of a sudden like I don't remember so that was a year ago like July 31st I couldn't even feed myself like even scratch my face because I couldn't get my 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 head to this high to just scratch my face so there was this time that I was as a general and one of the nurses told me that her boyfriend was in an accident and he knew the guy that was running this program at YMCA. So I came, I look at the place, I look at the guy that was running the program, so I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. Uh, my name is Niels Jorgensen. I am the coordinator of exercise made for people with disabilities, empowered. I have a wheelchair sports background. I was uh, involved in uh, wheelchair racing and then in the late 80s, I was competing in wheelchair rugby, local, national, international. The person that I was work, gonna be working with, it was actually someone who also is in the same condition as me. So it's not just one, some random doctor telling me like, oh, for people with your kind of injury, it's normal. So I knew that whatever he said, it's because he already lived it. I discovered for myself that Activity and exercise and fitness pursuits really dramatically affected my life and the degree to which I could participate in life by having increased strength and endurance and the social aspects of being out and being in a sort of a fitness environment versus environments that were specific to my disability or you know academia or school or whatever. Something inside me was telling me that the more I exercise, the, the more I was going to have my muscles and my nerves to recover faster. And that's one thing that I noticed working with Niels at YMCA is as soon as I start working out here, you can see the change. A central element of this program is to promote independence and self confidence. Help somebody who's gone through a traumatic injury or disability or some other kind of event in their life that they have now have a long-term permanent disability and they need to work themselves back into the level of conditioning and um, independence to go on with their life in some kind of a meaningful and productive way. Now I can move both arms, I can use my computer, I can feed myself. An individual goes through some kind of a life-changing event and ends up in the hospital. Oftentimes they can feel as though they're no longer sort of in control and feel safe within their own life. When they're in the hospital also they lose a lot of their autonomy. It helps a lot because I can see that I was selfish at the beginning when I said that I don't care about other people so I just care about myself. I only been like this a year. There's a lot of people that it's been like that since they were born. And so, when they come and, and enroll in this program, I like to give them the sense that it's really up to them. I talk about it with my friends. I told them that if they know someone, I usually tell some people when I go to the hospital, they ask me like, where are you going? And I say like, YMCA, ask for Neil Jefferson.